effective study habits or studying smarter can be learned to improve one's academic performance. So without further much ado, we are glad to present to you our research study entitled Preferred Study Habit of BS at Sciences to Students of Central Mindanao University. Researchers Bad Asurani, La Cruz Christine Joy, and Malonis Nizalme from BS at Sciences 2. Background of the study. Study habits are the ways that one studied that form during school years. Basically, it means that one is doing the best to get the grades that one wants. Study habit of every student is one of the most important factors that affect his or her understanding regarding a certain subject. Research Objectives This research aims to identify the preferred study habit of BS in Sciences to students of Central Mindanao University. The second year students taking up BS in Sciences are utilized as respondents of this study and the research is conducted on the first semester of the academic year 2020 to 2021. Specifically, the study aims to answer the following three questions. First, what is the preferred study habit of BS and Sciences to students of Central Mindanao University? Second, what factor influenced the students to have such study habit? Third, what is the preferred place of BS and Sciences to students of Central Mindanao University to study? And fourth, based on the findings, what implications can be made to improve students' study habits? So now, let's proceed to the research materials that we're gonna use in conducting the research. So, in this research, data will be collected using the survey questionnaires of the preferred study habit of the BS Ed Sciences to students. The research options will be described generally in terms of time management, test preparation, and good study environment. If the preferred study habit of the students that will be interviewed are not present in the options that researchers have listed, they will be given a chance to specify their own option. So the next one is we have the research respondents. So the BS Ed Sciences 2 students will be utilized as respondents of this study and the research will be conducted on the first semester of the academic year 2020-2021. So, 20% of the class population of BS Ed Sciences 2 students will be chosen as the respondents of the survey. And the next one is we have the data gathering procedure. So, in order to guarantee that the items will be clear to the students, the researcher will assist the students during the administration of the questionnaires. The researchers will explain the procedure of answering the questionnaires and at the same time, they will clarify the points raised. Answered questions will be gathered, response, coded and will be subject to the appropriate statistical computation for reliability. Statistical treatment. The study will utilize a quantitative approach such as frequency count and percentage analysis to easily calculate and interpret the data that will be collected. A percentage form will be used as the basis for interpreting the data. The major tool that will be used by the researcher is a survey questionnaire, tabulated data that will be derived from the formula in a descriptive manner as percentage as equals F divided by N multiplied by 100, where F is the frequency of response or the tally, and N is the total number of response or the total tally. The researchers will measure and analyze the data results in percentage 
using the formula that will be based on the book entitled Percentage and Ranking Introduction to Educational Research which will correspond to data results from the conducted survey. Data Collection and Interpretation Method This research aims to gather and collect data about the preferred study habit of BS Ed Sciences II students and to find the possible elements that can help them improve their academic performance. The primary data for this research will be gathered through survey which is in a structural form. The questionnaire was designed to collect data that can be used to set realistic objectives for the research. In this research, every respondent will be asked the same series of questions. The result of the collected data will be analyzed by the method of frequency count and percentage analysis. The gathered data will be presented through pie graphs, chart, and tables so that the data analyzed will be distinct and understandable to the readers. That would be all. Thank you.